Hey guys, Sophia here. So the hair that I'm wearing is actually a wig that I made in my last video. I will put the link in the description box so you can go over to that video and check out how I made this this wig. So this video is really about how I wanted to put curls in the wig. So I have been wearing the wig for about a week. This is what it is um, looking like. Obviously, I'm about to style it. So what I end up doing is putting flexi rods in the hair. So to start off, I sectioned off the hair. You want to make sure when you do any roller set that the hair is thoroughly detangled. You want to comb it and then ideally you want to wet it. I just put spritz and water, mostly water, um, because I was letting this dry overnight and I didn't have forever to let it dry. And after I got the section, I just put a flexi rod and, you know, curled it on up. Um, yeah, so I'm going to show you guys a few more times just so you can get the gist of what I did. So like I said, the key is to detangle the hair. Um, I got a water mixture and it's a little bit of tiny bit of spritz. Spray it on the hair. Make sure that it's damp and then you're getting a flexi rod and make sure that the ends are completely tucked into the flexi rod because if the ends are sticking out of a roller if it's a flexi rod no matter what roller it is if the ends are sticking out then the ends will look crazy when you take out the curl and they just be doing their own thing and your style will look busted so you don't want to do that And just a key note on this hair, I mean, I like this hair. It was like crazy affordable. This was my first time using this Milky Way hair. Um, Because it's so cheap, I'm guessing they just probably use like stray hairs from somewhere else. And that's why you will see a lot of like flyaways because a lot of hair is shorter than the actual length of the hair. So even when I curl, you can see a lot of fly flyaways coming out of the flexi rod. It really didn't bother me because it didn't affect the style. But just in case you were wondering, I figure I would go ahead and explain that to you. All right, so here we go. This is what it's all looking like. I put the bigger flexi rods at the bottom of the hair because I wanted those curls to be looser and the smaller flexi rods at the top. It doesn't have to be super formal or rocket science. Just make sure that you have all the hair in a flexi rod so that all the hair ends up curling. So I let it sit overnight. This is the next day and I'm taking out the flexi rod from the hair and just make sure that you kind of unwind it. You never want to like pull or tug or just snatch the like flexi rod out because if you do that, then the curl will be frizzy and you will not be able to maintain the curl. So just make sure that you unwind it. If you just look how I'm doing it, just follow that type of thing so that the curl can stay in place. All right, so now that all of the flexi rods are out, I'm getting this styling spray. Um, it You can just use some like regular type of spritz. I mean, anything with some type of hold on it, spray it on the hair. This will help maintain the style throughout the day and for a few days. And after that, I am just gonna start separating the curls. So just grab each curl, separate it, um, into a few little sections what you don't want to over separate you know separate each curl into like three to four sections you don't want to do it more than that because then they won't look like curls anymore they'll just start looking frizzy if you know you over separate so yeah so after I finish separating the hair I mean that is about it I put it on my head and I'm gonna show you guys that in a few do not forget to subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys another day another time bye YouTube Gotta make it.